When your kids head to school, you would hope they would stay safe and clean through the course of the day. Now, one local school system has contracted, contracted its own team of four-legged detectives to sniff out signs of trouble. Ten on your side, Stephanie Hudson has more on this new canine unit. Stephanie. Elena, Tom, this is part of Hampton School's plan to be proactive and sniff out trouble before it starts. They do work with police dogs already. In fact, Hampton Schools owns its own drug sniffing dog, but this new partnership gives them access to a fleet of dogs for more frequent visits. K9 Cody appears pretty laid back, but this dog is laser focused. She is trained for single purpose explosives and will also locate firearms as well. Today, she's on the job at Kikatan High School in Hampton. We want to make sure the kids are, are doing what's right out here. It's, it's unfortunate we've had some, some unfortunate incidents with our, our youth and the, and the community out here, and, and we do not want that to come into the school environment. Dogs in school are not new, but these dogs are different. The PD's dogs aren't very how do I put this diplomatically? Social. James Overton from American Canine Interdiction trains dogs to alert, not apprehend. That makes them more approachable. Oh my God, it's a dog. And a police dog's mission is usually to find something in a static environment like a car or locker. Cody and his colleagues are trained to find a moving gun, such as on a student in a crowded hallway. The company has a team of two dozen dogs. So it's easier for us to hit multiple spots if we need to. Plenty of paws to patrol all four high schools and five middle schools. And you never know when they'll show up. I am not a dog person. <laughs> However, <laughs> I'm getting a little better. <laughs> Principal Violet Whiteman appreciates the distraction is minimal, keeping the focus on learning. It gives me a little comfort that, you know, they're here to help us. Hampton has a contract with American Canine Interdiction through the end of next school year. It's part of their proactive safety plan that also includes the recent purchase of walkthrough weapons detectors at all high schools and soon in middle schools too. Stephanie Hudson, 10 on your side.